Hello and welcome to mycadsite.com and here we're going to do exercise 4 and this is part of tutorial 1-3 and it starts mostly with accurate input and deals a lot with O-snaps, something that be used very often in your daily work. So we're going to start by drawing the triangle at the bottom and what we know is we have a line that is 2.5 units long and another line that goes up at 20 degrees and a third line that is uh, vertical. So we draw the first line and it's 2.5 units long and then I'm going to draw a vertical line straight up from there. I don't know the length so I'm just going to make it a random length at this point and then I'm going to draw the third line and once again I don't know the exact length but I do know it's at 20 degrees so I'm going to draw that line now starting at the left end point and draw it at say 5 units at 20 degree angle and you'll see that that line shoots off and intersects the vertical line so now I just trim those lines out and I'm left with the triangle and that's a good exercise on just using the information that's given you, in this case a length and the angle to draw a full triangle. Next we'll draw the shape in the middle starting with the angled square because we have that starting point of 5 comma 2 and the angles of 45 degrees and the length of 2 units which is typical for all four sides so the first line is starting at 5 comma 2 and goes 2 units at 45 degrees then 2 units at 135 degrees 2 units at 225 degrees and then close back to my original starting point the square in the middle starts at the midpoint of any of the lines but I'll start down at the bottom left and just start my line command snap to the midpoint and the next midpoint and just work my way around until I come back to where I started and now I've got the square within a square easily and quickly drawn now to get the shapes at the right I have the information for drawing the vertical line and that goes from 8 comma 6 down to 8 comma 2 and I know that the circle is at the midpoint for its center so I will start the circle command at that midpoint with a radius of 1 and then just draw two lines from endpoint to midpoint and from the top of the line endpoint to the next endpoint all very common and very useful commands in this exercise thanks for watching